this will create jobs because all the works on the to, to, to improve or to build new uh, uh, railway, new uh, digital um, uh, corridors, new uh, uh, activities in uh, energy. This will create uh, jobs for sure. And uh, this will contribute to 15% up to 30 of uh, interconnection energy, interconnection between member states. This is also very good for economy. we are trying to seek more synergies between digital energy and transport projects. So it means that all over Europe you should have very good connections, for example digital connections when you are traveling. We want to boost renewable energies in transport, so uh, we are also supporting alternative fuels infrastructure uh, along most important transport paths. The new element in this uh, regulation is now that we are also supporting cross-border renewable energy projects. And it's, it's something new. We want to shift to rail, so to change our life, not to fly, not to drive, but to go to rail. But for this we need rail, and the rail, because of lack of standardization and interoperability, is not prepared to, to receive passengers or freight right now in the, uh, at the level that uh, we want. So CEF, uh, Connecting Euro facility, will uh, invest in order to, to change this, so to be reality shift to rail, not only a slogan. The billion, of course, it's a lot of money, but in the European Parliament we would like to have seen uh, bigger investments in all these fields, bigger investments to energy infrastructure, more to digital infrastructure and also more for transport. But unfortunately, member states, they were not ready to invest so much uh, with this regulation. But hopefully now when they have this big recovery package, we are very much encouraging the member states now use big part of that money, the most important infrastructure projects and that kind of projects which are really giving European added value.